Hello, my name is Andrew McGovern. I'm a principal consultant here at Irwin, and I'd like to thank you for joining me, taking a few moments out of your busy day to see how you can leverage your data modeling investment and integrate directly into the entire Irwin solution, which we refer to as the Irwin Edge, and bring that information into our data intelligence suite. The Irwin Edge platform stands for the Irwin Enterprise Data Governance Experience. And you need the edge for data-driven insights that support agile innovation to transform your organization while ensuring regulatory compliance. At the center is data intelligence. Data assets are depicted in context by integrating three bodies of knowledge. First, a business glossary to capture and document terms, categories, rules, and policies around business data. Second, a dictionary of atomic data elements managed and available across the enterprise. And third, a catalog of data usage that identifies where data resides, what it's used for, how it navigates the enterprise, and who has access to it. But understanding data alone isn't enough. You need to know which people and systems are using it, what they're using it for, where it's stored, and where it's moving. The Irwin Edge platform provides tool sets for enterprise architecture, business process, and data modeling, all connected through a common meta model. Today, we're going to be focusing on the integration of Irwin Data Modeler into the Data Intelligence Suite. We're going to take a model from Irwin Data Modeler and import it into the data catalog and integrate that information into our business glossary manager. Now, there's a lot more functionality that Intelligence Suite brings to your organization. We'll be more than happy to discuss that with you at a future time. So, Let's take a look at how all of this comes together. So we're going to start off with an Irwin data model that we're going to export into XML format and then import into the data intelligence suite. Now this is a full blown logical physical model with my ER diagram and my database diagram. Once I have this model exported into XML format, I'm going to import it into the Data Intelligence Suite's data catalog. The Data Intelligence Suite is a browser-based solution. It also provides for role-based access. This can all be integrated with LDAP so that you can use your Active Directory credentials. And here we'll see the metadata manager within the Data Intelligence Suite. As we look through the options that are available within the suite, we can see that there's a mapping manager, which allows you to define your source and target mappings and generate the associated ETL code associated with that. We also have a code set manager, a reference data manager, requirements manager, release manager, and test manager. We also have our business glossary manager, and then our automation framework, which consists of our code automation templates or connectors. Here you can see the systems that I have defined within my system catalog. I have a system called Erwin Data Models, and I'm gonna bring a new environment into this system and simply scan that model into the data intelligence suite. So we're gonna call this our publication system model. This is gonna be for my demonstration today. You'll notice there are a number of options within here. We're going to focus on integrating directly into the system, but you can see we can define our data steward, information about the server platform, the file management type, any locations associated with us, the production system name, and we can also do versioning. So here is where we're going to import the model. So we're going to select Erwin 9. We're going to save and continue. And then we're going to bring in the model in XML format. And here we have a number of different options as to how we want to scan this in. We can add new, we can update existing and add new, we can update existing, add new, and invalidate information, or we can delete and reload. We're going to import this as a physical model type. And as it brings the model in, it'll show me the tables and views. We'll select everything and then simply save it. All right. And now our model is in the data catalog. You'll see that we'll bring in the table name, the column name, our logical column name, any primary key and foreign key. We can drill deeper into any one of these tables or columns. For our example, we're gonna be looking at the employee table. 
and the employee ID. Here's where you can see the information relevant to this particular column. And this is where we leverage the information that's in your Erwin data models and start expanding the value to your organization by bringing in your data governance and data intelligence metadata to associate with this information. So here we can see the column definition, the column comments. This was a logical physical model. And here's where we can designate whether this information is sensitive data. Here's where we can edit that specific information. Sensitive data will be registered in the data intelligence suite and flagged so that you will know where all your sensitive data is. And you can also restrict access to the metadata based on roles that you've defined within your organization. We can also classify your columns. We can assign a data quality score, and we can integrate directly into the business glossary within this metadata element. So here I'm integrating with the business glossary. I can search through a number of different ways, either the hierarchy, the business term, or the description. In this case, we know that the EMP ID column is associated with the employee number in our organization. So here I'll simply select this, save it, and now we're going to see how this employee ID or EMP ID is associated upstream with the business term EMP number. Now this information can be viewed within the business glossary, but in order to present this information out to our business users, we're going to look at that from the business user portal. Now, as I go through here, this is a read-only interface, and I can search for that information, and I already know what I'm going to be looking for. So I can look at it either at the metadata level, or I want to look for, say, the EMP underbar ID column within my metadata landscape. And as I search for it, I can look at it. I can see that it's in the Erwin Data Model System. The publication system is in the EMP table, and here's the EMP ID column. And this is where I can get details specific within a data dictionary slash business glossary perspective. Now, if I want to see how EMP ID is associated with my business terms, and I'm going to look at this as a business user, and I want to see where employee numbers reside within my data landscape. So if I come up here, and I look for employee, then number. I can search against that. And now this is going to bring up the business term employee number. Here's where we can see the information specific to the, the business term, but ultimately see how this is linked back to my metadata. And this is a mind map. And this is going to show me the employee number, any associated business terms, where it's used, and then the technical metadata where this resides within my environment. So as I expand this out, I can look through all of my metadata. And if we come down to the bottom here, we'll see the Erwin Data Models Publication System, EMP Table, EMP ID column. That's a very quick overview of how you can leverage your Erwin data model investment and integrate it into the newest offerings in the Erwin solution stack, as we refer to it, the Erwin data governance experience. And if you'd like to get more information about how all of these are integrated and walk through some of your own specific use cases, please let us know. So why do you want to choose Erwin for your data intelligence needs? Well, we are the only software provider to own every critical piece of the data management and governance lifecycle. So enterprises like yours can understand and trust their data for faster speed to insights. And we saw that today when we have our well-built Erwin data model, which we easily integrated into our, our data catalog and our business glossary. With automated data preparation, enterprise modeling, and data governance, Erwin helps you find actionable business insights to fuel compliance, innovation, and transformation initiatives. Thank you for your time today. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a great day.